hour will make your reputation or mine. Are you right with your maker? As I'm about to send you to him. Alright, so here's the boss for this act. It is Grendel. Ooh, if you know anything about some North mythology, you'll probably recognize. See, so yeah, uh, these things are going to be kind of a pain. Just shoot them as fast as you can. I have a little bit of trouble right here. If they get on you, just roll, and they'll fall off. When he comes close like this, this is your chance as a champion to get the hits on him. Just kind of go in for some tax attacks, roll away when he attacks you back, and put a finisher on him like that, and it'll do a lot of damage. So I put a few on him. Then he's gonna start running away and just go berserk. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be doing something during this. I don't know, I just wait for him to come back. And we'll do some of the same. Let's keep attacking him, rolling out of the way. It's a pretty simple boss fight. His moves are pretty predictable. Or hers, I have no idea. We'll just run away and shoot these stupid little red things as they come in after you. Keep coming in for more, you just repeat, whacking on them. And th those fire geyser things that go up, I'm not sure that has anything to do with the fight. If like you can get them to walk over or something, I don't know, maybe. Frankly, I do enough damage just hitting them. Now for this part, when he stands up and he exposes his big blood metal chewy thing on his chest, just uh, keep backing up and shoot at him. I'm pretty sure I've tried to melee attack him, and it doesn't really do anything for some weird reason, so just keep backing up and shooting him. It'll be pretty slow, but he'll never hit you, ever. Just backing up, shooting at him. That's how real men fight bosses. Slowly but surely he'll die. Taking away his health slowly. And bang, he's dead. Get some sweet gears. And that'll be the end of the act. And boss. And I decided to leave in uh, Balder going back to Azir to, uh, just to show where like the merchants are and stuff. Because at this point you got a lot of gear and you, know, you got a lot of credits. And you need to go make sure that all your gear is repaired and stuff. So, And I'm not trying to make you sound stupid because I actually had trouble finding these merchants when I first played this game. They don't make it particularly obvious. I mean, I guess they expect you to explore, but I'm just saying I, I couldn't find them the first time through the game. It took me a while, so... Just, just to make sure, I put it in. Across swords, where the dude sells the weapons. Come here and you can read about the the aspects of certain weapons like these ones on the wall there's a map right there let's go up to it and you can uh, buy weapons from the store you, um, buy rune stones and stuff but the most important thing to do which I actually forget to do is uh, you have to repair your items which is good because if you don't repair them then they're gonna break so just go to the the first tab there that'll be your weapons hit X and it'll tell you how like much it is and stuff and make sure you repair it otherwise it'll break navigate through some menus Spend a little too much time in there but I leave right over here is a uh, if like this guide wasn't enough for you for some reason you can come over here and it tells you how to how to do some of the moves Probably better than I can even tell you. 
But it's going to take practice to get good at the uh, the combat system. So if we just go right back the way we came, back to the center where that map is right in the middle. On the complete opposite side is where the armor person is and where you'll get your your alignment once you get to that stage in the story. Choose between human and cybernetics. So there you do the same thing, buy uh, armor pieces and such. Make sure to repair them with X. It's important. And the differences between human and cybernetics, I'll tell you them. I, I have a champion of both sides. Personally, I like uh, human side more. And it focuses on uh, your combo meter. So you can attack quite a bit faster as a human, but you won't hit as hard. And the cybernetic side is all about hitting hard in general. So if you aren't sure which one to choose, I suggest human. But, you know, this is an RPG game. It's about making the decision for yourself, so don't listen to me if you don't want to. I just simply suggest human. I think it's a, it's a better makeup. I pretty much made a cybernetic guy just because they have really cool gear, but I don't think they're nearly as good as humans. So that's my opinion on that, but yeah, make the decision for yourself. So yeah, that's it for this session. I may do the, the rest of the game depending on how I feel about it, but uh, definitely count on uh, Dead Rising K-Zero next time. Thanks for watching.